Nah. Peach isn't it. Not in this matchup. Let me see these predictions. 80, 90%, 91%. Look, everyone loves the underdog. Yeah, everybody wants the underdog. You will turn up, you get punished. That's great. Ah, lots of down ends. Ah, no back out of shield. Yep. Yeah, he's trying to flow over the uh, sort of yeah. the grounded Greninja stuff. The problem is, then they just start coming at you with like full back ends. <laughs> he's forwarders. trying to start something off down there, but he's not getting. Oh, here we go. Yeah, nice. Yep. Another one. Yeah. So he like Another he's doing Cavill a good job of like avoiding Brad's uh, landing aerials after like he hits him. Yeah. He just needs to get like an actual with punish on it. Started to punish him. Um, Peach when he's floating there. Yeah. But he's got some good damage in this first stuff. Oh, that dash tag was punishable, but Bullock not choosing the right option. Yep, hold shield, nice work. Choosing the flow rip in the right places here. Yeah. Oh, that was a good full hop, uh, well not full hop, like double jump from ledge from red. Oh, oh so oh. good, but doesn't get the hit. Yeah, Peach is hard. Not, <laughs> not quite getting his combos. That's true too. Ah, oh, just waiting, and Brad's like... He's not waiting as long as Paula, and so Paula gets the hit. <laughs> Peach floats for so long in this game, it's crazy. He played 3D World, she floats for like <laughs> zero frames in that game. It's like, you get the teeniest of floats. <laughs> in this game, it's like three seconds or something. <laughs> Lots of dash attacks on the shield, but they're not. It's, hard, it's really hard to punish. Yeah. Basically, it's um it's minus 12, so there is enough time for Peach to do short hop float back air, but it's really technical. Yeah. Or short hop float now, like you have enough time, it's just hard. Ah, nice punish by Rash. Trying to kill him off the side with that, at least to get some damage. What? That's the issue with putting yourself at the ledge. You know? Yeah. If your opponent rolls past you and then they get there, you know, they can move. Yeah, you're in advantage. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened. Brad was like at the ledge, not covering roll, and then Paul like, just rolls in. Ah, oh, back here. Yeah. Holy. Okay. Dash tech the fair is true. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I've seen it. I've been. I've seen it work. It's probably not true on perfect DI. That's probably what Brad means. Yeah, build up that damage. But they're not always going to perfect DI, so it's not not relevant. Oh, nice. I I just love the spacing by Pollock. So he gets hit, Brad hits him with like a landing aerial, and then Pollock does like a float above like Greninja's grounded options, and yeah. then and then does like a falling aerial to punish the grounded option. Like that's that's the way you got to use float. It's like you sort of do the fox thing, except you, like you can just like full hop, float, fast full aerial um, yeah. to get, get get around grounded options. Like it's really. Yeah, it is really, really good to just like um, moving around like when you otherwise just get smacked in the face. Yeah, like full hop and then floating out of shield. It's yeah. just really strong. You can choose the height too. I oh, just float for his other I had missed the sun. Yeah. It's not amazing. But like, maybe could have done more of it. Dash yeah. tech to fair. I don't know if we have a jump. This is bad. Oh, we do. Okay. We're fine. Ah, uh, yeah. See, Brad's trying to cover those floating heights with back air. But yeah. Paul, like just like staying patient at the ledge, not like drifting in. He's waiting. He's waiting for an option. Uh, Brad safely full hops over. Full hop, like jumping like that, especially with Greninja's vertical acceleration, is a good way to get around features like ledge trapping. You just have to be wary of like her full hop there. But yeah. that's a hard call out from the Peach. They have to. They have to know you're going to do that. Nice coverage. Yeah, tries to cover like you know if Brad tries to aggressive on go aggressive on stage. Yeah. This is just the awkward angle Peach can get sent out. Just drift all the way in. Ah, uh, that's one too many fares for Paul Lech to dodge. What? 36 off the landing for Wooden. Where's the turnips? Where are they? Ah, uh, I like the idea. Yeah. So you can like back air, and, it, and even if you miss the timing on their regular get up, you hit that shield, and then you yeah. um you grab the shield because they're like afraid. Yeah. But it just whiffed, unfortunately. So I just got out of the situation. But for like finding the shield stuff of a di a different back air. What? This is like because of water. Yeah, true. All right. Oh. Could be dangerous. 
Yeah, we're stuck at ledge. Fred's doing a real good job. He's just spacing he out. In. Yeah, and then he forward smash and let, and let uh, <laughs> yeah, then Blake again. He's up. Randy's side B is going to work. There we go. Yeah, he's got to do back here. Yeah. Teaches us a sitting duck sometimes in those scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> Roll up the sleeves, Paul. Unleash all your power. I don't know. Stay in Peach. Doesn't believe in the Zero Suit, I guess. Stay in Peach? Bust out the Brawler. Yeah, I'd love it if he did that. Oh, yeah. Then he can review the VOD and I'll tell you know, I'll be like shitting on his shitting on his play the entire time. But that's what you want. Because yeah. then, then you can watch it and be like, yes, all this info. I don't know if Peach would be any better than Zero Suit in this match. That's, the, that's exactly it, right? Like, yeah. Granger just, you know. It's just annoying to play against if you don't know the matchup um, mm. for those two characters. I think they both win, but yeah, it's. I don't think swapping is the right way to go about it. Is what is best to do still we come to win sometimes. Yeah, but I guess he's played that matchup enough. The zero seeker screen engine hasn't worked out, and he's like, well, might as well try something else. Yeah, this is going okay this game. And it was hey, going good. okay last game too for a while. Yeah, he's getting some combos up down there. Nice grab. Ah, oh, he's, yeah, he's on the platform. Yep, float over the grounded options. Nice. Yeah. That's it. No, wrong one. I had to use um, Frank Pan. Yeah, you have to like angle with the stick right I now. angle it up, yeah. He angled yeah. it down going for the racket, um, which is like second best option there. Oh, shield poke! Flex been cheesed. <laughs> okay, nice. No, he's, he's managing to get past the grad ledge traps decently. But. Brad's kind of catching on to his um, float timings. That's why he's getting these landing grabs and stuff. Oh. Yeah, good shielding by Brad. Blake's going to have to find a way to get past sort of like just Brad's like defensive neutral game where Blake's not really getting. Oh, never mind. Just four yeah. bears out of nowhere. Yeah. Smack him out. Uh. Bad situation. Okay. I've Look, seen a lot of turnips from Polo. Yeah, I mean, it's hard sometimes because Greenwich can, like, poke you while you pull them out. Yeah. And then, like, usually he's just, like, jumping around so they don't get a whole lot, but, like, especially with ledge, you know, edge yeah. guarding, we've seen them. Um, just to sort of limit the way Brad can go. Ah. Uh, parries and then dashes away from yeah, that down. That's insane. He's just, he's just like, zooms out of there. Okay, no tech on the platform. Paul's gonna get the back at this time. All right. Paul needs to like. So Brad's always using like landing aerial shield um, to like you know shield the backheads and stuff. And Paul can like start mixing in grabs. That would yeah, yeah, do yeah. a lot of work, I reckon. A lot of landing nares. Um, oh, foot still yeah. into float nares. That was nice. I don't think he even meant to do that. <laughs> well, look, no. Yeah, it did. Nice roll coverage. Uh, the fact that Peach can just do the aerials on the ground is very good. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. Oh, weak there. Where are we going? Bad DI in the dash tag. We're going off the screen. It's going right up. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. careful. Careful. Tech, please. Oh, uh, good okay. tech. Yes. Yes, turn up grab back in. Oh, Damage. Yeah. Hey, yes, nice he's covering. Turn off that that oh, was like such a good read. He knew he, like Brad yeah. was gonna double jump up, and he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna double jump on. I'm gonna like wait and like read your roll in." Wow. Damn, he died. But he's it. Like was good. just uh, draw that whole string to get 50 to 58. It was really good. Um, yeah, some nice reads. And now Brad's, you know, yeah, Paul's like, "Okay, you're gonna do that. I'm gonna pull out the turn." Yeah, got he's throwing out the shirt. And fortunately, Paul like doing that, you know, Brad's forced him all the way to the ledge. Uh, now Paul's kind of pushing back a little bit. Brad getting a small confirm. Oh. He just moves all to do so much damage as well. Yeah. Like even just the single hits. Yeah, you can get crazy strings and I like, mean, build up big damage. Yeah, oh, when, also, you get, yeah. when you get when you get the when you get like the nair stuff, yeah, it's insane. Yeah, yeah. But even just like back air is like I don't know, it's a, it's a million damage. <laughs> just like, it's like, yeah, uh, compared to you know these teeny shuriken damage, or fair, also a beefy hit. 
nice jump over. You know, Peach is like threatening to cover uh, regular get up and threatening to cover roll with back airs. Jump over. It's a good option. Now, how are we getting off ledge from forward? That's the question. Right, reading the we roll. Well, now we're back at ledge. Ah. Oh. Again, but he misses the pivot grab, and that puts Pollock in a really strong position. There we go. Yes. There's the grabs we want. Fred's trying to not get nair, not get back hit. Yeah, he's throwing that turn up, tries to cover the jump, but it wasn't quite there in time. Oh, rolls past the border, insane. Yeah, he has to be so careful of getting um, fed by Greninja. Too. Yeah. Fred can kind of just throw them out, and that's it. Yeah. Fred's throwing out a million fares per second. Pollock's going to jump into one eventually. Eventually, yeah. Well done to Brad.